He looked a little shell-shocked after the last few weeks. So Arsenal 2, Brighton 0, exactly what you want. No problems, no fuss, three points, thank you very much. Well, there was a little bit of fuss for, 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 oh. quite, for, for quite a period, <laughs> but, but what I would say is... Uh, I haven't seen anybody... Uh, I haven't seen any team in the Premier League that have not allowed Brighton... And we saw the stats there at the end, 50-50 yeah, that possession, that but that doesn't... Still. Certainly, not, and certainly no. not for the first hour. I've not seen any Premier League team that have denied Brighton possession or territory as well as Arsenal. They couldn't get out, mm. Brighton. Now, they're one of the best teams at playing out under, under De Zerbi. They normally boss possession, they normally create chances. Arsenal, I saw them do it against, I think, Wolves at home, who are obviously not as good as Brighton. They just smothered them in their own half. They play such a high line, they shut it down. James Milner played left back, which was a, <laughs> felt a bit sorry for him because they were trying to sack and one on one. But Arsenal, you know, you got to say deserve it. You got to earn it, and they got the Gabriel Jesus goal comes from the flick from from Van Heck, from the Brighton player. But they were the better side, and they played well, created chances, were wasteful in the final third. Mm. Or this could have been, they could have had herself at least four, maybe five. So yeah, a good bounce back after their defeat at Aston Villa. And rock solid at the back again. David Raya didn't have much to do, certainly to my uh, memory. And uh, Gabriel, Gabriel just gets himself a goal. So a, pretty much a perfect weekend for them. Anything you want to add? Yeah, anybody who never saw this game and looks at those stats, don't be fooled. I mean, that 50% 50 possession Brighton had, maybe 5% of that was in the opposition's half. It was all in and around their own penalty box. So, yeah. And I know every week goes by, but what I mean, we have, you know, we we've talked about Havertz a lot on the mm -hmm. show. Obviously, we've talked about Raya a lot. You know, it's a lot of money, but Arsenal are not in this position. And are, if Arsenal win the Premier League, Declan Rice, the signing of Declan Rice, has been the smartest bit of spending money I think they've done for a long time because he does everything in there. Do you think he starts against Liverpool? Who? Kai Havertz. <laughs> what? Did you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you? What? Uh, I, was, I actually was you listening entirely. Clearly. I was, thinking about, I was thinking about that. Is that what you said? Declan Rice. <laughs> no, yeah. I, well, I was talking about Declan Rice. I beg your pardon. Uh, does, I thought you were going to say. I was thinking, oh. no, I was thinking about Harvard. Like, well, yeah. I was talking about Declan Rice, and you said, do you think he starts <laughs> against Liverpool? Uh -huh. I do. I think Harvard starts, yeah, yeah.